Welcome back. Uh, a great subscriber uh, with the name Dhruv Patel has requested me to uh, record a cue card on an important letter you received. And I won't hide anything. Uh, let let uh, I be the original on uh, this uh, video making. Uh, when I was making uh, the video of uh, this, I was a little confused like uh, how uh, a 12th pass uh, candidate can get a letter and uh, what to speak because uh, of course I'm not a 12th pass now. I have done graduation and post graduation and, uh, and I've been teaching uh, ILTS uh, from more than uh, five years and I'm in the teaching profession for more than eight years. So obviously it is a little hard for me to, to go to the mind of a 12th pass student and to record a cue card. So I took the help of various websites and don't think I'm uh, making uh, these ILTS cue cards so I don't uh, study or I don't uh, learn from any internet or any online platform. I subscribe all of them, I read them, I understand them. And even I also prepare myself like a student and that is the beauty of, uh, of all, uh, all of these things I'm doing. So to record this cue card, I also have taken help of many online platforms. So after going through those uh, material, then I got a, a unique idea. Yes, I can give you this uh, as, uh, as a complete uh, guarantee, like uh, the idea I'm going to share is very much original but yes to get this idea I need to go to those platforms and get ideas. So uh, cue card is describe an important letter you received so here is my take. Uh, in my 12th standard uh, last year in 2016 when I was celebrating my 18th birthday so it was uh, very much surprising for me when I got uh, a special gift from my parents it was uh, a two-wheeler, it was a bike and uh, when they handed over the key of that bike to me, they also uh, gave me a, an envelope and envelope was uh, having, of, uh, having the maro maroon color and when I opened the envelope, uh, there, was, there was a handwritten letter from uh, my father. So when I opened that letter and I began reading it, so it was uh, speaking like uh, my dear son, uh, I wish you from the bottom of my heart uh, a very sincere birthday, uh, or a very sincere 18th birthday of you. And in that letter, my father has wonderfully shared what he really wants uh, from me in life and how he wants to raise me in life. And I was very much influenced and I was very much touched the way my father spoke about how he watches my future. Uh, he wrote in that letter, uh, like my son, I, no, I don't want to compel you in life for a particular goal, for a particular target. It is your life. You are completely free. The way you want to live your life, you are free to live it. Just keep the thing in mind, like your primary aim in life should not be only getting money, should not be only getting a big home. Your primary goal should be to realize your inner powers, to activate your inner powers and doing something for humanity, doing something for the society and doing something for the people who are not that much rich, who are not that much uh, having that much facilities. So you, you have to do something to help the people. You have to do something to make their life better. And when I read that thought, I, I was feeling very emotional and I was feeling uh, uh, very, very deep that thought like how clear and how big my father thinks about me and he, he don't want to make me, he doesn't want to make me a materialistic guy. He wants to make me a real spiritually organized, spiritually awakened person. And the second thing my father wrote in that letter that was very special for me is uh, what he expects me uh, in my behavior. He said like be a patient listener because the person who listens the most, the person who learns the most. So the way my father requested to me to be a patient and polite listener 
was very heart touching and I thoroughly understood both of the points that my father has mentioned in the letter and when I closed that letter and when I saw in the eyes of my father I was really emotional at that time because my father gave me a new uh, personal identity to me and I started looking at myself in a new in a very uh, creative uh, way and this letter was really special for me I have laminated that letter and I have uh, placed that letter in my document file because this letter is having a lifetime validity and every time when I'll be thinking about my family when I'll be thinking about the values my family has given to me I'll be uh, watching that letter and I'll be sharing my heart with that letter. Thank you so much.